Happy Saturday, everybody. It is a beautiful day here in southeastern Pennsylvania, and the first day in weeks, it hasn't been eyeball-meltingly hot. So, we are going hiking. I am meeting Deb and Nikki, and we are going to do a point-to-point -point on the Horseshoe Trail, which is a long-distance trail that goes from Valley Forge here in the Philadelphia region all the way out to Harrisburg. Now, we are obviously not doing that much distance. We're going to do about five and a half miles from uh, Hopewell Furnace out to a cute little town called St. Peter's, and we'll take you with us. I'm going to meet them out in St. Peter's. They're going to throw me in the car, and we're going to go over to Hopewell Furnace to do the point to point. So, let's get on the road. is being ridiculous. Look at her feet. She walked all the way from my car to Deb's car in bare feet to leave her sandals Very rocky. in my car. <laughs> Very rocky. So we're figuring out this point to point thing. So we're leaving my car and I've changed into my hiking shoes here and left my sandals in my car. But they've realized, oh, they should probably leave their sandals in my car too. But yeah, this is <laughs> it's, it's going to be fun. <laughs> are parked in the middle of a beautiful nowhere with no cell signal, uh, which is making several of us a little nervous, but GPS works even when there's not cell, cell service, and I downloaded our map so we can work it offline. So we're all good. So we are doing a section of the Horseshoe Trail. Um, Deb's really excited about this trail. She wants to do this from end to end at some point. Um, but today we're just going to get a taste of it. Uh, we're going to do a, about five miles. Um, the map that we had had us doing a lot of road walking, so we came down a little further from uh, the Hopewell Furnace National Historic Site uh, to find this parking area, so we don't have to do quite so much road walking. All right, we're testing out some new gear today. Deb and I have both invested in these little waterfly uh, lumbar packs to just try and downsize, remove some of the weight from our backpacks. Uh, so this is still, it's got, still got my 10 essentials. The only thing missing from it at the moment are a lighter and an emergency Kevlar blanket, which I need to add in. Um, but it's got my snacks and my first aid kit and obviously my water and just about anything else that I might need on a short hike like this. Deb's got the same thing in teal. Deb, you want a model? Uh, so I think it's kind of the thing you need to like play with the adjustment and then pull the lumbar. It's easy to loosen, it's just hard to tighten. <laughs> so to get like, because it is the kind of thing that you really want tight against your back so it's not bouncing. Right. So but it carries a, a lot of weight and it fits a lot of stuff. I mean, <laughs> yeah. I have everything in here. Yeah. Everything in here. Except uh, your Sour Patch Kids. No, because I'm trying a new energy chew. Ah. So, yeah. So I thought I'd try an energy chew rather than Sour Patch Kids. It actually has like some, you know, You know, the stuff rest of us didn't bring energy chews or Sour Patch Kids because we were counting on you to have the Sour Patch Kids. Well, you're going to have an energy chew today <laughs> and you'll be thankful for it. <laughs> All right, let me get mine on.
as I said earlier, the Horseshoe Trail is... Deb's our Horseshoe Trail expert because this is her trail of the heart. But um, is about 100 miles. And it's kind of more of a patchwork of trails and roadwalks and right-of-way permissions from local property, private property owners. And the problem with that is the private property owners can change their minds. Uh, either because they want to repurpose the land for something or hikers have been misusing the land when they've gone through or just as often because they're private landowners and they'll do what they want to do. Which also means that as a through hike, it's very difficult because it's there's very little camping. Um, I think we're going to go through, ooh, prickers, we're going to go through one of the few areas that you are allowed to camp. Uh, what is it, Warwick County Campground? Warwick, it's Warwick Woods, but they do not oh. allow tent camping. Oh, okay, never mind. Warwick Woods does not allow tent camping. So, so doing it as a through hike is very challenging unless you have the money to get off the trail every night to go to a hotel and you'll have to pay shuttle drivers to get you there and all that. So it's not unusual. We have not seen anybody on the trail yet today. We're doing a lot of what's called silk blazing, which means we're the first people to come through here. So we are taking down all the spider webs that were formed over the trail overnight um, or over several days, depending on when the last people were to come through here. But it's a beautiful trail. The section we're on right now is actually, has been graveled for heaven's sakes. They've got logs lining the path and gravel down. So definitely a nice find. Uh, Deb wants to section hike it in 10 mile stretches, but I think even coming out for a day hike is, is very much worthwhile. I'm looking forward to trying out more sections. But we've only gone maybe a mile and a half so far. So we still got some ways to go today. So let's keep walking. hit our options. We have been walking on this very lovely flat straight trail, um, kind of straight shot for a little over a mile maybe. And now we've come to a junction. The Horseshoe Trail goes that way uh, for about a, a little over a mile or for half a mile this trail will take us straight into St. Peter's. Now, we've only been out here about an hour and a half, and we're making the best time we've ever made on the trail. So, we're gonna take the long way? Take the long way. We're taking the long way? All right, we're taking the long way. <gasps>
you guys never get to see the inclines. Because <laughs> the inclines are too hard to record on while we're climbing them. Oh, that one had a lot of rocks, so I'm at least getting to test out my new hiking shoes on rocks, which Nikki and Deb are cursing me for wishing for. All right, still rocky. All right, we have reached another junction. This is the Horseshoe Trail. And you probably can't tell from this because video lies, but it is almost straight down and rocks. This way is nice and level and flat and goes straight to the ice cream shop. Guess which direction we're going. We have found the Nikki trap. It's spelled right too. It's spelled right too. <laughs> Is it granite? Oh yeah, that's definitely granite. Parking lot's a lot busier than when we got here this morning. All right, we have ditched our packs and some of us has changed our shoes. <laughs> All of us are changing our shoes. Feet are tired. But we did four miles in how long? Just a little over two hours. It wasn't a hike, it was a walk in the woods. It was a walk in the woods. It was, it was very easy. Um, but m most of us haven't done significant distance in at least a couple of weeks. So it was, it was good to re-enter and it was lovely. It's just been a beautiful day. It's nice to have something easy and successful to be able to feel like, yeah, we're, we're getting there. I mean, to do what Nikki figured out, we were doing 35 minute miles, which for us is really good. Yeah. <laughs> Because we're slow, very slow. I'm, I'm used to doing a mile an hour with my pack. So, um, so yeah, so I'm very pleased with that. Um, the review on the packs is that they're wonderful. Uh, both of us, had, Deb and I both had the same reaction that at first we were aware of it, but within a mile we had stopped noticing that we were carrying them until we took them off and suddenly realized how heavy they were. I'll have to weigh mine when I get home yeah, and see you. how much is in that, including the water. I struggled with having the wa my water bottle in the water bottle holder on the back, but I still had my aqua clip on it. So I just attached it to the belt on the front and it worked great. Uh, I wasn't, it wasn't flapping around. It wasn't in my way. Oh, <laughs> Nikki has, turned her pants into shorts <laughs> so so lots of gear deb also had a brand new pair of trekking poles she got carbon fiber rei trekking poles from her husband for her birthday happy birthday deb yeah. um and she loved those so those worked out well anything else new we tried this time around i tried my holster i've had for like months oh nikki tried her new uh gear carry and how was that it was pretty good yeah so, my back's not super sweaty, so, yeah. so now we're going to go into St. Peter's and there's a cute little ice cream parlor and there's a restaurant and I'm not sure which order we're going to go to those in, 
but <laughs> I suspect we will be stopping at both of those. But, so um, I'll take you along and we'll say our goodbyes when we get back to the other car. These were the most glorious roasted Brussels sprouts with bacon and balsamic vinegar. They were so good that I forgot to video them before we ate them all in about four minutes. <laughs> they were delicious. I'm really bad at this food selfie thing because it's too good and I want to eat it. But I've got a pulled pork with cheese and onion rings. Nikki's got a pulled pork grilled cheese. Short one. Oh, sh pulled short rib uh, with, uh, she ordered the onion rings, I ordered the fries, and we split half and half because we both wanted each. And Deb was the healthy, virtuous one and got a sesame salmon, salmon salad. Sesame salmon salad with mango on it. So, so we are eating good in the hood. to Deb's car after a little bit of mis miscommunication or misremembering on my part. We went back to Hopewell Furnace and then were very concerned that we couldn't find Deb's car before we remembered we didn't actually park there. So we had a good visit in St. Peter's. We had a lovely lunch. Uh, we got some nice dessert. We looked at some pretty antiques and we thought about going to do something else to follow up, but we're kind of done for the day, so we're wrapping it up. I'm gonna take Nikki home, Deb's gonna go back to her place, and we're gonna settle in for the night. Not sure what next weekend is gonna bring. Deb and I are talking secret mysterious plans, which may or may not come to fruition. Because they're crazy. Because we're crazy, Deb. <laughs> Nikki has no faith in us. Just, I'm not but one way or another, we will accomplish something next weekend, especially if the weather is as lovely as it is today. So thanks for coming along. I hope you enjoyed this, and we'll see you next week. Take care. Bye.